have so much to choose from, I'm going to end up spending so much money, aren't I? It's been worth it, the whole day. That is an unbelievable find. Oh, say can you see? <laughs> Yes, welcome to the USA and welcome to Football Shirt Hunting, the series in which I hunt for rare, unique and cheap football shirts in outlet stores, thrift shops, and we also try and get match-worn shirts as well. Basically, we hunt for obscure football shirts, we go in shops, we record my progress, and we see how we do. I've been told America is going to be very hard because it's not the country's national sport. It would be like doing NFL shirt hunting in England. It's very rare you're going to find some. So, we're on like ultra hard difficulty today, but hopefully we can find some football shirts across here in Orlando. And also, if I do find one, I'm gonna be giving away one to one of you guys. All you have to do to have a chance of winning it is like this video and subscribe to the channel and you have a chance of winning a football shirt. We might definitely have a match worn shirt, but we'll get to that in the end. Anyway, let's get right into it. Come on. Hello, day one. This is the only day we're gonna do like a Disney thing. We're at Disney Springs. We've been told there's a shop called Pele Sucker Shop. I think it's going to be a bit like a tourist trap, but I know for a fact they have MLS shirts in there. And this season and last season, there were some amazing shirts in MLS that I couldn't get in England. I'm after the Seattle Sounders Hendrick shirt. I don't mind paying full price, but because it's last season's, maybe you'd want to get it cheaper. But we're going to go in there and have a look. And I'm going to be tourist trapped, aren't I? It's the one thing I'm not supposed to do on this series, but you know what? You can do. You have to catch you first. I'm like a whip it. I've done it now. I'm too bleeding late. For God's sake. This is the second episode in a row this has happened. At least you tried. At least we tried. Well, I'll see you on day two for the thrift stores. What are you doing? <laughs> see you on day two for the thrift stores. Hello, Ben. First day was a bust. Today is the outlet day, which is really exciting because there is like two outlet malls right near us. And then we're also going to go to a genuine normal mall as well because obviously Pele Soccer Shop, those of you who have been to Orlando before know that that was kind of my banker. And everyone is telling me, Orlando and America is impossible. You won't find football shirts. So let's see if we can find some and let's get to some outlets. I'm confident in Adidas because Adidas is the MLS's main kit supplier for last season and this season. So I'm hopeful, but we'll see. Here we are, the Orlando premium outlets. Are we going to find any football shirts here? No. Thank you, Jodie. And she's off, she's gonna keep walking away, and she's gone forever. First up is Nike, of course, this massive Nike outlet. Everyone's telling me this is gonna be impossible, but I think at least we'll find a PSG thing, because it's Jordan and just global. I don't, I eat impossible for breakfast, along with omelets. Bro, what are you talking about, man? It made me laugh, because there was like a queue, and we, we're here for opening, and everyone just rushed straight over to the shoes. <laughs> we're just like, do you have any, any football, you know, the sport your country doesn't care about? The only country in the world that doesn't care about it. I think the, the realisation has just hit me and Jody that this country really does not care about football. Like, they love their shoes. When everyone said to me, Alice, this is going to be impossible, you might be right. We actually have found something. We found Liverpool tracksuits for children in the, the kids section for $60 each. Um, no. That has killed all my confidence so far. I was adamant Nike would have like a PSG thing in at least. Adidas is literally just opposite though. So we're gonna go into Adidas. And hopefully, Adidas is where I'm most hopeful because of all the MLS stuff that is made by Adidas. So we'll see. I've seen it. We're in Adidas, I've seen it already. Over there is an Arsenal shirt, which means we have hope. It's not that bad. This Manchester United shirt, although I don't like Manchester United, it's a great shirt, but they want $90 for it. I just found this sweatshirt and I was like, oh, that's really nice. It's in the football section. Um, it's, got, it's got a Manchester United badge on it. We're finding stuff though. I told you, Adidas would be the one. It's not exactly how I thought. This could be either really promising that that's just happened. We've seen football stuff in there crazily priced. I'm surprised there wasn't much MLS stuff in there. I know MLS isn't huge over here, but Adidas have the agreement to make all the kits for every club. So I figured that they'd have made their way to the outlets, but no, we'll keep hunting. A bit more confident now, a bit. Next up is Puma. If those of you saw the football shirt hunting in UK edition, 
Puma served us very well. So, hopefully the same. What is Jody's? Oh, Jody Mercer. Oh my God, Jody Mercer. <laughs> it's the Lee one again. We're gonna have to get another one of them, aren't we? Because people love that. How much is it in here? There it is. It is. Ninety dollars. Ninety dollars. What is that? Ooh, Club America, uh, Deportivo Guadalajara, $90. These are all $90. The Puma Bird template for Guadalajara. For 90 as well. BBB. This one is also $90. So. Jody just realised there's, there's a promotion where you can get 20% off if you're a VIP customer, which is just have to make an account, which would still make all of these overpriced, in my opinion. Like $90 minus $18 would be $72. So you're looking at like 55 quid a shirt, which if, the Italy one isn't bad, but in the last episode, we got two of them for nearly the same price. So, so two for two now when seeing football stuff in shops in like sizes I could have got. But the whole point of this series, like I said before, is that we try to find stuff cheap, I say in the intro. Like the whole point is we find cheap and rare shirts. I would be buying a shirt for the sake of buying a shirt for a video. Don't ever buy a shirt for the sake of it, is my stance. If I'm gonna pay for something full priced, I'll buy a, a, this season's MLS shirt later on because they're all amazing. You know what I mean? Like, I can get all of them in England much cheaper as it is. So, let's keep going. So, obviously the outlets, number one, were a bust, but we've now moved to somewhere called the Florida Mall. I think we're going to be fine in here. There's loads of sports shops. There is apparently a soccer shop in here as well. We should be good. So, I hope. If not, then what is, what is, we found out our first failure. First stop in this mall, there is a JD right next to the door. I mean, I'm, I'm very unhopeful anything's going to be in here. But let's have a look anyway. I might have to get that. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get that, I think. Ellis, you won't find anything in America. Ellis, Ellis, this is gonna be the first video you don't find anything. Ellis has found something, $35, which equates to this on screen right there. A Puma shirt, we'll talk about it more in the outro. Thank you very much. I don't take any, I'm not gonna say the word L's, I am 24 years of age. I don't lose. I don't lose, I never lose. We are deep in the mall and we've just seen ahead of us United World Soccer. This is the place. I have a feeling everything is going to be really expensive, but hopefully my thinking is there'll be a sale rail of last season's shirts. Maybe. Oh, straight away the Atlanta United one from this season that everyone really loves. It's got the um, Ipswich template throwback. $90 isn't actually that bad either. I might, I might come back for you. Don't you worry. I'm not going to leave you. There's a lot going on in here, in a good way. PSG Jordan jacket over here. How much is that? $150, we're gonna put that back. <laughs> Boca Juniors shirt that everyone's loving as well at the moment. Oh, there's so much to choose from. I'm gonna end up spending so much money, aren't I? Oh no. There's Juventus, there's AC Milan, there's Real Madrid. Oh, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to like, it's a lot to like. The question is, is it either gonna be this one or the Boca Juniors one? So this is 90. Should we go look at it quickly? It is really nice, isn't it? I think they're both $90. Yeah. Let me just do some quick maths. After all that deliberating, we've realised we can get both them shirts in England for £70. So it's the same as just getting it in here. So we've moved on for now, which is potentially idiotic. But I don't know, what do you think? Right decision? I think so. I think you should think on it. Yeah. One exception to the full price rule is if we find a Sounders shirt from last season or LAFC shirt or LA Galaxy shirt from this season, you can't get the authentic in England. You can get the regular, but you want the authentic shirt. If I can find a shirt that I can't get in England, we'll then pay full price. But I'm not even finding that. Right, Adidas, you are the lead manufacturer of the entire league of this country. Please, please don't let me down. 
They've got... I don't want to just be like the tour... You know, just the tourist thing, oh, I've got an Orlando shirt, which is fair enough, but I don't... I want to do something different. You know, we can get these at home. For context, I think soccer takes up like 5% of this country's, like, interest. So it'd be like going into Nike in England and finding, like, NFL stuff everywhere. It wouldn't be the same. So I get why there's nothing here. I just wish there was. Up next, go on, Jody, make the joke. <laughs> We've spotted a football section. Well, the football section, we should say it's an Orlando section. Yeah, it's got this season's Nigeria shirt on in the photo. Oh, you are good. Do you want to not talk with your mouth for? It's very rude. Nice. I've got PSG with a Messi. Is that Messi on the back of the away? It's a 2XL though. Ansu Fati and a Barca. Oh, Fati. Got um, Inter's away shirt this season with the, the sleeve patch and everything. Um, but still, it's not really anything that's really like, oh, I want to buy. We're, what we've done is in this video is categorically prove you can get shirts in Florida. Just the discounted, just not the discounted ones at this moment either. Can I have the drink? <laughs> Hang on a minute. Something you cannot get in England is this Club America shirt in vaping it. I'm sure you cannot get that in England. I might be completely wrong. Dry fit ADV of the Club America shirt. I'm sure you cannot get that in England. Let me do my research. This looks stunning in dry fit. I'll be honest, it looks amazing. It looks 10 times better than the standard stadium one, but it is $120, which is like, probably like 98 quid. And I don't, I wouldn't wear it. Sorry. It's another, another case of we've nearly found something. Just please do not be in episodes of Nearly's. We are now at the second outlet place, which is the final stop for the outlet normal shop day. Um, we're starting with Nike, and on the, on the window, there is someone kicking a ball. So if that doesn't fill you with confidence, then, then nothing really will. Women to the left, <laughs> men to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. So once again, nothing in Nike. Do you see why I'm confused though? Because obviously Orlando is like, everyone here is a tourist. Everyone comes from around the world. I thought that they'd maybe move stuff over to this area of the country to like target tourists who like are from countries that love football, but no. On to the next one. Hello, so we're making the executive decision because this outlet is basically the same as the other one in terms of shops that the only thing that will be slightly different is stock. So if we see anything amazing, we'll show you, but if not, we'll update you at the end but we've still got the frisks to go and some some special things to do still we just came into adidas uh women's soccer again they've got the new juventus third shirt a hundred dollars but you take 50 percent off it fifty dollars literally came out like last month i swear but it's a shame it's a women's shirt that obviously i won't have any use for sadly right nothing in the rest of the outlets which you know it was what i expected to happen i think $90 I'm not paying for an Italy shirt, it's just it wasn't good pricing, but one ace I have up my sleeve still is Ross Dress for Less. Apparently sometimes they get soccer jerseys in there quite cheap, so we're gonna have a flick through there and have a look. If I find something, I can't take credit, people just told me to look in there. And if there's nothing, then you're all idiots. <laughs> oh my god, this is like um, TK Maxx on steroids. Got Calvin Klein bags. But that's, once again, that's not the series. <laughs> Nashville SC, inaugural MLS season jersey, $24.99. It's been worth it, the whole day. We did it. Well done team, I did it. I mean, you, we all did it. What a world. There's a woman, a woman stuck in the door. I don't know how that's happened. Um, we got a shirt. I think that's going to conclude day one. It's been stressful. We've done. We looked. We walked over seven and a half miles today. You haven't seen all of it, but we're, we're shattered. So I think we're going to call day one. Well, it's technically day two because of the Pele soccer shop thing. We're going to call it a close there. We're going to go and get go to Cheesecake Factory. And we're going to go again Sunday with the thrift stores, but we're going to like loads of them, which is where we're hoping to find something special. And we're also looking more like Burlington's and Ross's as well. We're not stopping at two. 
See you Sunday. God, I look tired. It's the day after the Orlando game. I, I have not had much sleep, but Jody, it's fresh store day. You excited? I can't wait. We could probably talk to up though, and we'll probably find. It's a bug. We'll probably find nothing, but. I mean, based on how the first bit went, I'm not confident, but we'll get to the first bit. Maybe fr that's because that's where they are, all are. Maybe. First stop of the day, already we're going to a Goodwill. It looks absolutely massive. Um, let's have a look inside. It is massive. That's what she said. <laughs> Just to add context to how big this place is, this is like one row and then like over there, there is so much to look in. So far I've looked about a quarter of it and not found anything, but you get so many baited ones like for example like there's so many sports in this country that like you see like oh this is a sport one no it's basketball um i'm still hopeful we will find something here i'm hopeful jody's just got something she's pivoted jody mercer yes <laughs> what size is it no idea it is a men's sweater in size small it's a really good find though. These were like $60 at the stadium that the game we went to yesterday. You've smashed it. Just found this Italy jacket, but um, I'm not gonna get it because, I mean, the badge is no longer there. And also with the Euros. One thrift shop, one item already. Well done Jody Mercer for finding it. Thank you. This row has a Marshalls and a Ross dress for less. Every time we go into one of these now, we're going to do it several times today. So th just to see this as your announcement of, here is where we found stuff in Russell Marshalls. It's an Austin FC t-shirt, but I don't collect t-shirts. Oh yes. That is an unbelievable find. Atlanta United. Long sleever. Oh my god. I sincerely hope that's not the actual price. <laughs> oh, one sec. There we go, I found the price, it's $24.99, so the equivalent of like £21. Look at that, Jody. Found a long sleeve at Atlanta United. $21, oh, $24 to £21. Very impressive, well done. Thank you. Lovely stuff. Who said we wouldn't find anything? That's three now, four items now. Once again, America's been very stressful, but we're getting there. We've got four items now. Picked up that Atlanta United long sleeve for £24 or $24, whatever, amazing. The Orlando item. This is the first stop of the day. We've got five more thrifts to go to, and any more of these we see on the way, we'll stop there as well. So, let's get to the next thrift. Come on! We've made it to another Goodwill. Hopefully this one is as, will be as good as the last one. Ah! <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see me properly. Um, we once again did not find anything in there. It's, uh, the first one seems to be the best one so far. We've got one more to go to over there, then we've got to go to another one, which Jody found on TikTok. So Jody's told me the last one we're going to after this one is going to be incredible. So if we don't find six 1930s USA shirts, then what has been the point? One thing I will say to anyone who is in the US, I'm not a collector of US sportswear, but in every single thrift we've been in, there's been a ton of NFL, um, college football, and NBA stuff. In none of this is Jacksonville Jaguars jersey. It's the same in all of them. Every thrift we've been in, there's been loads. So if you're looking for that, then go to thrifts. If you're looking for football or soccer, then don't. <laughs> Final stop of the episode and our trip in Orlando is, oh my God, thrift. This is Jodie's recommendation. So all of the pressure falls on her, not me. Oh my God, it is big. There's a lot going on here. Like this looks like Croatia. Oh, it is. It's a bootleg Nico Crenshaw shirt. For $20? No, thank you very much. But it's a good promising sign. I can't figure out if that's a Puerto Rico shirt or not. I'm going to have to Google it. I'm going to hold on to it, then I will Google it. It's another interesting one. United States Adult Soccer Association. A 7-on-7 seven seven tournament. But no, not for me. There's this Tanzania shirt that I'm pretty sure is not genuine. It's, I think it's very well known that there's never been a real one of it. It's just all fake. Once again, another. Oh, there's so much to look through. <laughs> oh, 
Why does no one hold a door open for people over here? You don't leave a thing. No one has a door open for me. I feel like an idiot. Uh, we, there wasn't a Puerto Rico shirt. I don't know if any, anyone in the comment section can help us with that. It's P-U-R. Uh, no idea who it was. Um, but we, we left there with nothing. So that concludes our, our thrift shop section and football shirt hunting USA edition. Let's get back to the hotel room and we'll, um, we'll, we'll debrief. Hello again from the cheapest hotel room that I could physically book three years ago when we booked this holiday. So, Football Shirt Hunting America edition. I do feel like this was playing on hard difficulty. It's the first country we've been to on this where it hasn't been the main sport. But in the France edition, I only found two items in America. We found four and people told me I would find nothing. So, yeah, up yours. I think we're gonna do this in order of items I liked least to best. So we're gonna start with this Orlando City jacket we found. Uh, Jody found it actually in the thrift store. It's overlaid on screen. It's okay. It's very bog standard. It's Adidas, which you know, is if you're not a premium team of Adidas, you're getting bog standard. It's a bog standard small training wear item. Moving on. Then we got this Nashville shirt, which you can also see overlaid on your screen right now. The Nashville shirt is okay. It's from their inaugural MLS season, but it's the giveaway item. If you want to win this shirt, all you have to do to have a chance of winning it is like this video and subscribe to the channel and you can win that lovely Nashville shirt in size XL. Second from last, we've got this Atlanta United shirt I spoke about it that we picked up in Marshalls, I believe it is. It is like their version of TK Maxx. It's overlaid on screen. It's a long sleever. The only, oh, it's Ross Dress for Less, sorry. It's an XL. It's, it's a really cool find to find like a long sleeve shirt, modern anyway, save long sleeves and all that. It is obviously, unfortunately, the Adidas template, like in the corners, the three stripes, but I think it works quite well with the gold detailing on it. Obviously, Atlanta didn't have a great season last year. There's no player name on the back, but still a long sleeve, brand new Tags football shirt for $24. So that the conversion for that is there um, to get that in the year 2022. It's what this series is all about. It's all about hunting, finding bargains. And we did it. And then my favorite item was actually the first item we purchased. It wasn't JD Sports of all places. It is this Puma shirt. Those of you who have been familiar with the content recently will know that me and Jody didn't realize these were called Pumas when we did the um, Nike mystery box. But you can see it overlaid on screen and you can see why I love it. I think it's class. It works really well. It's a really awesome design. I'm a big fan of a lot of the Puma stuff. I think their badge lends so well to being fun. And that was fun. And I think this whole Football Shirt Hunting American Edition, as I quite literally have you guys balanced on a cup on top of a box of Doritos, because this is <laughs> a way you tax deduct a holiday. But in all seriousness, I, I really enjoyed the hunt. Like I said, I've touched on it before on the channel where it got to the point in terms of Football Shirt Hunting, especially when we did the wholesale episodes, it was too easy. Like we would always find stuff and that, I don't think that's the point of this series. The point of the series is hunting and hunting until you find something special. And speaking of hunting and hunting until you find something special, we didn't do a match worn part of this episode, but maybe stay tuned to the channel over the next few days as to why that was. If you want to win that Nashville shirt, all you have to do to have a chance of winning it is like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you very soon for the match-worn segment. Ciao, ciao, bye.